What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and my chat is going to love me now because I'm re-recording a video. I did this same video two hours ago on this very stream, but I bit my tongue right in the intro, and it was horrible, so feel very sorry for me. And that affected the entire recording because I was traumatized. So this is take two. So anyway, a lot of people really liked my awesome tutorial on how to do uh, buffering. You know, uh, as in when you're in mid-animation, in the animation you can actually input an attack like King's Giant Swing, stuff like that. Uh, very important to know, but equally important is knowing about fuzzy guarding. It is unbelievably powerful and I'm asked about it all the time because it's some something I mention quite often on my stream. Like, oh, is that string fuzzy guardable? I'm asking my chat and so many people are like, what even is a fuzzy guard? So we're going to explain it now, and it's a very powerful tool to have to beat like 90% of the strings in Tekken. Because a lot of the strings you think are actually 50, you think are 50-50s, you know, where, you, oh, I have to take a guess. Many of those are actually fake 50-50s, right? So you can uh, do what is known as a fuzzy guard, or some people call it an option select, I think. So... If you've watched me play Geese, for example, you've seen me do quarter circle back two into either a mid axe kick that knocks down or a sweep that knocks down. You know, this is a classic. You've seen this. And if it connects, both options give you stand up, die. Both options. Uh oh, oops. <laughs> YouTube curse, now I got it, stand up. And uh, considering how often I connect this on people, you'd think, well, that's a real 50 50. They have to take a guess. Actually, you can block this every time through, through fuzzy guarding. So now I'm gonna set him to do both options. I did both options now, right? Dead? Oh, oh shit. No! <laughs> now I'm failing it! <laughs> it should be noted that it is not super easy. But with enough practice, you can get this. Oh, no, I'm messing it up. There we go. If you know about misplay stuff, a uh, very well known Nina player from Norway, she does this 100%. I get it like 70% of the time. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Maybe I should keep my take one of this. I did it 100% before. Okay. Okay, with a little bit of warm up, it works. But so what's happening here is that he does the quarter circle back too, and then he has two options, right? A mid or a low. The mid is significantly faster. So what you can do here with some practice and muscle memory is you block the first hit, quarter circle back two, and then you stand guard long enough for the mid kick to come out, and then you duck to block the low, right? So this is just a muscle memory of block and then stand guard long enough to block the mid option and then block the low option. There's enough frames between option one and option two to be able to block both of them with correct timing. That, that is the fuzzy guard. So here I wait out the axe kick and then I block low. Okay. He loves that low. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> you fucking troll! Can you stop fucking trolling me? Okay, I'm messing it up. Uh, I, earlier today, I, I did this 100%. You can go back and watch the stream. Uh, but let's see. The most famous example of this is, uh, is with Paul, actually. This is the number one most famous example of a of a fuzzy guard. 
Hey, bite your- I should bite my tongue again. Basically, that's the equivalent of steroids. As you know, when Paul does this, goosh, mid-high natural combo, kaboom, or he does mid-mid natural combo, uh, many times what people do is, you know, they, they duck anticipating the high and you try to get a twin piston or something. But that means you're at risk of hit getting hit by the mid, you know, and at the wall, that, that can mean a million damage. I mean, it's Paul. But if you fuzzy guard this, which you'll see JDCR do every time, you can beat this string 100%. Uh, unless you're main man. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to record both options. Plonk. So basically, enough time passes between the high, again, the high is very fast, and the mid is quite slow. Enough time passes for me to block the first hit and then duck, do a flash duck, a really quick duck. And then do a stand guard immediately. Beats every option. Punish. 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 You see? And this one's, I mean, it's it's not super easy, but it's easier than the geese uh, fuzzy guard. But so here, uh, the fuzzy guard on geese was stand guard long enough for the mid option to come out and then duck. Right? If you time it well, you, you will blo block both options. But here, what you're doing is you're blocking the first hit and then you do a flash duck, basically, to duck the high, and then you stand guard uh, right in time to block the mid option. So here, if you do this, you beat both options. On the high option, once you come up again, you get a quick punish. And, you know, if you block the mid, it's minus 12 or 13. I don't remember exactly. But this is known as a fuzzy guard, uh, an option select. It is crucial to know about. Uh, most of the strings in this game can be beaten in such a fashion. And I can't stress enough how, how many strings in this game you think are actually 50-50s. Like perhaps you thought that that string was, but, but they're not. There is a very often a significant difference in uh, how quickly the options come out. Uh, allowing you to fuzzy. So I hope this was a satisfactory explanation of this phenomenon or this technique. Uh, very well worth knowing about. Um, yeah, and I hope uh, you enjoyed my little demonstration of it. As clumsy as it was there with geese. <laughs> that was lovely. So I hope you all have a nice day. Take care.